Right. Yeah, Dusk Iron Hero. Apparently, um, for some reason, it was muted. I don't know why. We'll get into this replay, and it's going to be on Deadwing. So this is a relatively old one. Because uh, Deadwing... No, this is actually from this season. Still, I oh, played Deadwing because the other maps are Ebola. Fair enough. Like Varnai, Secret Spring, and Inferno pools are just no. I'd rather like oh, I don't even know. I hate hate them. I hate them so much. And like is... life, you've been said Inferno in the interview after I am Taipei that uh, Inferno pools is like the most imbalanced map ever. Wow. wow. That he doesn't even play it in in practice. He has it vetoed. It's the first map he's like ever vetoed. That's fairly impressive. Oh, I can hear oh, echo. Oh, oh. Anytime you can turn your Skype up yep. right now. Cheers. Better. That's a much better. Thank you. Yeah. So let's get into this replay in the bottom right hand position playing for Forge Force Gaming on this Deadwing Ladder Edition it's Krosis and he's our hero for today in the top left hand side his opponent the Diamond Leaguer apparently it's Phalanx now we know that Krosis is Master League because apart from anything else he's in the call how you doing there? yo yeah I just haven't played a lot um, but if anyone wants my thing I was in the UK Revival and I only got knocked out by a GM who I went 2-1 against well so. played well played but no, it, it, Krosis, if you actually look at his profile, has been mastered several times now. Yeah, I just don't play. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you have a plan when you were going into this game? Um, I can't remember. It might have been Roaches. Like, I can't remember. Like, I'll go for like two styles. I sent you replays of like my several styles versus Terran. Like, so you can have a look. They're all wonky as fuck. So it's really funny. But um, yeah, no, um, I'm not really sure. Like, uh, it depends on what I was saying. You, you'll be able to tell by my gas timing. Because uh, if it's a 19 gas, it's a Ling Bane Roach style. But if it's a uh, double gas, like really delayed, then it's a uh, Roach style. Okay, so basically, the earlier the gas, the more likely you are to use Lings in it. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. That's a good little set, a set of clues. Dusk going might have been Roaches. Yeah. Okay. I make a lot of Roaches. Dusk. Get over it. <laughs> like, come on now. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> might have been Roaches. Um, but yeah. We're seeing what looks like a fairly standard opener for my Terran player. Looks like Reaper, I'm guessing. Yeah, um, I'm not. Sure. Yeah, it was, it was just a Reaper scout um, and stuff like that. So I, I wasn't expecting like the me like. I think I got quite a late scout off because I sent my stuff in the wrong di my overlords in the wrong direction to start. So it was a bit like oh. Well, the thing is, like from what I understand, you're supposed to send it to the one where you're going to hit the natural first. Although to be fair, it makes more sense to send cross map first than this one, just because it's further away. I suspect. Yeah, um, I'm not actually entirely sure. I always send it to the horizontal first because it's close by ground, and I really hate some of the time. Like you can, if you know they're in that top right, and you're like horizontal. Yeah. Um, or vertical even. Yeah. Um, you can, it's like drop set. It's like drop heaven. So it's like uh, you have to like alter your playstyle towards that. Just because if they can successfully drop up in any of this area, you end up in a world of pain. Yeah, especially with some of the styles I play, I don't get um, any like anti-air very quickly. I tend to delay it like okay. a lot. So okay, yeah, that's a bit iffy. Um, but no, it's like coping and stuff. Yeah, I am going for a roach style here. <laughs> but no gas. So my plan was always I'm going to roach him. Kind of worked out in my favour, I guess. <laughs> like. Well, the thing is, I mean, the, the the standard sort of meta for Terran at the moment is to go Reaper into Hellions. So yeah. having the having the Roaches out there basically means that you're ahead because you can you can kill off those Hellions without any serious trouble, or at least chase them off for the most part. Yeah, definitely. So news and the worker dies because it turns out workers do not belong in a Zerg hive. At least Zerg ones do, but no one else. <laughs> Which is which is why it's weird when you see people allying with Zerg. It's just like, dude, how does that even happen? But still, is that, is that, we're lovely people, really. I promise you this. You we just, are lovely. Just slightly obsessed with you know power. Yeah, we just want we just want everything to be purple on the map. Is that such a crime? <laughs> is that really such a crime? I don't know, but it is a bit creepy. I just want it all to be purple, man. It's like, you just want the, the, your creep to be outside the natural so your queens can just come up with their, like, creep bibles and be like, have you heard of our lord and saviour creep? Like, are you just yeah. Like By the way, are you getting a ton of notifications in StarCraft? No. You know what, I may have to turn my notification sounds off. I think I did already. <laughs> I do not get notifications. Right, well, I've turned mine off in case I'm getting a ton of... Yeah. A ton of stuff, but anyway, you're getting for Rochen. 
Yep. No roach one yet though. So when when is, when's the plan you, to put you that down? You delay it till like quite late on until your like double gas is built. Was the one I do. Um, and then like you'll notice like I put it down with a double evo like the moment the uh, double um, gas pops, I'll drop the roach one because okay. that's how it just times out. And it's basically just a convenient timing to have that happen. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Is there actually um, a gap between those two evo chambers? No, there's not. Okay. It's completely good. solid. Like, okay. There is no wall here. I do delay my roach warrant even further here. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'll get it up now. Well, I guess I'll just try to get a bit greedier. Mm, makes sense. Get a bit uh, more out of the stuff you have. Yeah, Hellion's poking in, trying to get the greed. Always focus, right, this is something people don't understand, right. If you can kill the Reaper, that's like quite big, because it's the Reapers doing like the damage, because they fire so fast, they've got like the higher DPS of the Hellions. Alright, I was understanding that the, what you're supposed to do is kill the Reaper, is kill the Hellions, because they don't heal. You can do that, but if you, if you think you can kill the Reaper, kill the Reaper, because that's what's actually damaging your Queens more than anything. Okay. Okay, fair enough. That transfuse is going to be needed. No! I, I didn't have a transfuse ready for on the other Queen, so it was a bit like, oh, uh oh no. Uh oh, spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to get a bit messy. Yeah, but he tries to morph into Hellbats, which is a bit strange. Like, um, I wouldn't have done that in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the middle line six and just walk away. So I lose barely any drones. Nice. You do lose a couple, but then that's you know to be expected at this stage. Yeah, it's like it's fine. It's like I, I was like completely unprepared, so it was like um, for this because I didn't scout in time. Like yeah, I can yeah. be skip scout in this game. Um, what something you shouldn't do, people? Like just yeah. as a heads up, just just as a pro tip. Yeah, just don't don't skip your scouting. Like it's not good for your health. <laughs> that said, um, there's a couple of mines up there in his, in his wall. I presume in case of things like bailing busts. Probably. Um, mech players do a lot of different styles. Like some people always go like widow mines to open with um, for that early defense. Because like if like especially if you see where the wall is, there's like a choke. Sometimes links will clump up there, and you'll get like thirty kills with like one widow mine. Whoosh. Because What's they'll all try and cram into that space. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. It's quite painful, but... That's a lesson learned. Yeah. See, um, th this is quite funny, I think. <laughs> I like, think he killed, thought he killed all my drones. <laughs> like, how do you have all this stuff? Well, yeah. you didn't kill enough. No, uh, killed like six drones, I think. It wasn't a yeah. lot. You've lost, I think, seven by this point. Yeah. Eight. So, yeah. yeah, it's just like, fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah, you're, you're, you're behind in workers, but not irrevocably so. Nah. Uh, especially with the timing I'm trying to go. I like, I don't. This is like a 1 1 timing. Um, So, yeah. I dropped the baning nests. I wasn't sure. I still wasn't sure what it was going. Because a lot of people go hellbat and stuff. So, you see, I was getting my baning nest in my thing. I was going to go into um, my other style behind this. Because I was yeah. like, oh, I'm kind of behind, but it's like, that's all right. That said, um, I think that, that tank and the mines are going to prove a little bit of a pain in the... Oh my word, that was the worst timing ever for the... The mines! Oh my god, he actually nearly killed his own units there. Yeah, run away, identify what it is, cancel my plus one carapace. Am I assuming now at this point you're like, okay, this is clearly mech, how do yeah, I do that? Yeah, I'm just going up, this is mech, okay, I know what to do from here. <laughs> I uh, just got like air and stuff. Um... There's like a couple of thoughts on it. See, I, like, I cancel the Bane and I'm not, not going to need that. Could have cancelled yeah. my Ling speed as well, but that can be handy later for like run bys and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, you can punish always, them. You're in attention. Yeah. yeah, always better to uh, have that, um, like just in case. Uh, but yeah, I get my Hydra Den and my Infestation Pit. Infestation Pit. Um, okay, like there's two things you can do with that. Obviously, like you can go for the Swarm Hosts and be yep. that person. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I often am that person in versus mech because if they're forcing me into this, then they deserve all the like all trauma, the, all the swarm hosts you can give them. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I don't go for that this game, and I instead go for a relatively quick hive, I believe. Um, okay, so with with an intention to transfer into what? Um, hi uh, what's vipers? Roach hydra viper. Oh, nice. Okay, so basically taking away the utility of the tanks by blinding them and yeah. Nice. Oh, the drones! The drones! Spread drones. It's it's actually one of those things that if you get Hellions in there like that, it can actually pay to just ignore them. Yeah. Because then your 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 workers don't clump up nearly as much. Bam. I don't know why that he keeps doing that, like morphing into the uh. 
I, hell that so it seems a bit wonky to me but well, like in the mineral lines it seems a bit weird you should just morph in before so then you get more hit points and stuff the, I think the idea is that they use the mobility of the Hellions to get to where they kill things and then turn into the killing machine once they're there the problem is you can just walk away from them if they do that yeah exactly ooh Corvid reactor on the way so we're looking at are, are we looking at this guy going full of elo yeah you are like, oh lordy so how long is this replay again no 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 it's don't tell me. actually that long it ends fairly soon because he just doesn't have enough I think if I remember correctly okay well you're getting um, swamp posts up I, I get you get that like as a just in case like even that last Protoss game um, you know where I got it but I never actually built swamp host it's a just in case I want to be okay like if I absolutely need that's them that's fair well, this guy's also about to lose his ability to make factories. Yep. Which is always a good thing to deny. Yeah, but scout with Rax, man. He's already got another one coming up. Gets to see what's coming. Yeah. Sees the hive, so he probably knows something's up. The, the question is, is he going to assume you're going mass swarm host? He could do, but um, he I think he'd have assumed because he'd have seen them already, and he saw the hydralis stand, so he probably... Uh, like. I think he would know. At least I, I'd assume that I was going for Roach Hydra Viper timing. Um, mm -hmm. Was a bit delayed because of the opener I did. Like, yeah. But it still does all right. Well, I'm assuming that you only went, you only decided on this build once you realised your opponent was going mech, basically. Yeah, yeah. It was never like a, a long plan. Like again, you saw like my my thought process this thing where I was like dropping the bailing nest and everything. And I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna have to transition to, like this other style what does really well when you're like not fully ahead like yeah. you know you, you're like even or behind because then you can trade pretty well yeah but yeah so you get some good spread out here taking four bases and actually this is one of the big problems about attacking into things like this is even if, with blinding clouds it's still going to be hard to kill off this many tanks because you can't blind them all you say that now <laughs> well true I, I could be wrong are you just going to get up a million a million blinding clouds this is actually uh, one of the things that I, I like about the Zerg is the fact that in order to get the uh, the Vipers up to full strength, you have to sacrifice something. Yeah. I, have, See, I don't know, because you have to get them at Hive. I reckon they should start with at least an energy for a grab, but hmm. I don't it's a It would be a, an interesting balance question. But no, I, I also think it, it, like you could just like make an Evo and, and bleed that dry. Yeah. Oh, that's what the... Well, that's going to be brutally... Unfair in favour of the Zerg player, but there we go. The tank's now in range. But it looks like the swarm, the, the Viper's getting into some nice blinding right there. Yeah, Beautiful that gives stuff. me enough time like to spread out and stuff, get through this um, line, and he's forced to unsiege because of the blinding clouds. Drops the PDD, what is an irritant against fucking hi against Hydras. Yeah, but you've just got to like kind of you just barrel your way through at this point. And at that point, his workers are being killed by his own tank splash. Yeah. See, he lost his... Um, th this is the thing. He lost his buffer when he lost all those Hellions. Yeah. So I was able to just kind of barrel through um, despite that. What's nice. pretty, like, key in, like, winning this game. Like, if, he, if he'd had all his Hellions as Hellbats, like, actually clumped up, I don't know if I'd have been able to make this work like I did. Yeah. But, well, yeah. This fourth base is now basically dead. Oh, wait. The tanks... Actually, the tanks do a lot of damage by themselves, don't they? Yeah, tanks are pretty good units, but I've already I've got the whole parade of Zerg units still coming across <laughs> the map. Yeah, we can see that. Holy <laughs> god, look at all that! Oh well, at this point he's yeah. got to be like, oh, this is not working. 